And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Swain Controls, our next donation deck. This deck is uh, playing a lot of removal spells because we are we are a control deck. Um, we have a little bit of early presence with Crimson Disciple, Imperial Demolitionist, and Legion Grenadier. Give us a little um, early presence. But yeah, we're playing lots of removal, lots of damage also because... Uh, lots of non-combat damage because to level up Swain we need to do 12 non-combat damage and so we're able to level up Swain pretty fast with this deck. We have this. We have a couple of cards that you don't see very often. We got Kempunk Shredder, um, play deal one to all enemies, which you may you may look and be like, oh that that card doesn't look very good. Well, think about Withering Whale. Think of how much play Withering Whale sees. This is slow speed Withering Whale, five mana, do one to all enemies. Um, but you also get a 5-2, so you get that's a pretty good body. You know, it's a good attacker and everything like that. Like you can trade up with a 5-2. Um, so you know, it's kind of like our Withering Whale, and and that one damage just helps turn on uh, other cards. You know, obviously Noxian Guillotine, but then also you know you can just kind of stack it with Static Shock and all of your other things that do damage. Um, so we have that, and then we have a, a finisher here, an epic Orok Glinthorn. I never really knows this uh, this boulder here looks like a face. Um, but yeah, Aura Glenhorn, uh, six mana, six six. That whenever you attack with it, any damage to enemies just get stunned, so they don't get to block with anything that's damaged. We can uh, make a lot of their things damage with their Static Shock, their Shredder, stuff like that. Um, uh, even our our big True Shot Barrage at the top end can damage some things. And uh, the more things that we uh, damage, then whenever we attack, the more things that are stunned. So that means the less things that can block, block our Swain. Our Swain hits them. Nexus Strike, do three to all their stuff. Um, you know, that, that's, kind of, that's kind of the goal of our deck. And also, whenever we have a leveled up Swain and we want to uh, do non-combat damage to the enemy Nexus to stun the strongest back row enemy, we can do that with like our True Shot Barrage can do damage to them, Static Shock, uh, some different things like that. Of course, Mystic Shot. So yeah, uh, def definitely a little bit of a different strategy here. We're going to try some Swain Control. Looks like it'll be a fun one. Let's go play five games over in ranked like we always do, even with our uh, donation decks. We're at smooth 872. So this will be fun. All right, Swain Control. And then we got uh, two more donation decks after this. Katarina Lux. And then Heimer Fate. Aha, so we're actually 802. You saw at the end of the last video, we were 872, and then we won, and it still said 872. Uh, okay, Anivia Elise. This card's good against Elise. I'm going to mulligan the Demolitionist and keep these others. But like Kempunk Shredder, Static Shock, these could be good against a bunch of spiders if they're trying to play a whole bunch of spiders. Alright, I guess we'll just trade. Do two to them. We are 16% of the way to a leveled up Swain. Uh, Alright. I guess so. Keep them from getting that mana gem. Kind of want them to play something else also. So my Kempunk Shredder didn't just do one damage to this thing. Could could lead with Static Shock. Um, if 
first, I suppose. Maybe we do that. Well, then play a bunch more spiders. Play like Brood. Play Brood Awakening. You got your six mana. Come on, play your Brood Awakening. Face Melter. One, two, all enemies. Uh, it doesn't do one to the enemy nexus. You lie. Not all enemies. Didn't do the enemy nexus. They passed? With nine mana? Just passed too. I need to spend that nine mana. True shot barrage. All barraging and stuff. All right, we got leveled up Swain. I wouldn't mind drawing Swain or Leviathan. Nope, no Leviathan. I'll play Glinthorn first. No. They're probably a Ruination deck. I don't know why they're saying like the GG thing. Like this game's, you know, like it's, we're like in the middle of this game. So we're going to kill Anivia. Draw Swain or Leviathan, please. Or another Static Shock. Do I have to spend a lot of cards to kill Anivia? Yeah, I mean, I, I hope they don't have Rekindler. Hmm. But they do. Empire, battle by battle. Leviathan, Swain. I 
will endure. Dang, I was hoping they were going to block with the Nivea. Nivea is good against removal, especially a million rekindlers <laughs> with the Nivea's. That is very good against removal. Card's not bad against removal either. Wish we had more ways to draw Swain. We need like three Leviathans in here, maybe? Right. I, it's been a while since I played against Anivia. I was thinking it was doing one damage, not two damage. Right, leveled up does two. Yeah, I understand. I'm gonna lose, I understand. I don't think I have anything really to do with this True Shot Barrage right now. After after that, obviously I wanted that to, to be at 3 health and then at True Shot Barrage. Um, but that didn't work. Yeah, having no Swain and no, no Leviathan to find Swain either makes this a little... This is kind of difficult. Kindler plus Anivia, awesome against burn spells, by the way. Pretty awesome against burn spells. So that was a tough matchup, especially when we can't find our, our most important card. But even if we did, I don't know, that's that's a really tough matchup, you know, having millions of Anivias. That's that's just like the dream scenario for my opponent playing that deck is playing against our deck. That's the dream.
All right, we don't need Glenhorn early. Um, what about Guillotine? We'll probably get rid of Guillotine also. They're probably playing a bunch of smaller things. Leviathan! Yay, that means we'll have a Swain. Eventually. Oh, yep. Yeah, while, while it is very easy, you know, like, well, it's really, okay, it's easy for them to counter, you know, my removal spells against a Fizz. We do have other ways to deal with it. You know, having the Kempunk Shredder just does one damage to everything. And so that's really nice. I'll still play this. I'm going to force them to have something. You know, if they play something. <clears throat> then they got it. So we we traded spells and they got a 1-1. One, one. Not that big a deal. Shredder out here. We'll just take this. Normally, uh, I don't know. Maybe I should. Maybe I should Shredder next turn and Culling Strike this thing. I guess that thing can get get crazy. Sorry, Harvey's just like sharpening her claws on the carpet, having some fun doing that. Hey, Dewan. What's up? Happy, happy Saturday. If you're having a good weekend. Um, I'm not sure if you can see Harvey. There, he's like right there. <laughs> she's all smiling and looking at me because I'm looking at her, and so she's she's now now she's right next to me, smiling and wanting to be pet. Where are you? Uh, six. Let's see. Six mana. Let the show begin. Yes, Harvey. Why, why don't you sit on the chair so I can actually reach you? I, I can't reach you right now. Ugh. Ugh, I have to pick her up. Ugh. See, here's Harvey. She's big. Ooh. Yeah, big doggo. Ugh. There you go. Stay right there. Shuffle. No, no, no. Stay right there, girl. There you go. Okay. Um. Any attacks? I love it. Yes. Oh, should probably change the camera. Back. Uh, just this one. I'm going to be a little closer. This is a dog that probably likes getting pet more than any other dog I know. He just loves getting fed. Oh, 
Alright, suit up keeps Twisted Fate alive. They're at 7 out of 8 already? Well, that's bad. It's also bad. Now, this game's heating up. It's not good. Leveled up Twisted Fate's really hard to beat. It's really soon they're going to attack. Yeah, all. Especially when it's all one mana cards. So both these Shredders are just going to die to Twisted Fate Red card. So we're just going to block with them. Instead of just having them die immediately. And then we'll go here. And then do I want to do two to... Or do one to this thing or one to them? I don't know, do I keep this for next turn and like play Swain and then have Static Shock available? No. Let's go one of them. No, I don't want to block the 1-2 two with the 2-2 two because two, then, then my Crimson Disciple dies to red card. All right, drawing another Swain is nice because I can wrap now. I can Ravenous flock the Twisted Fate. All right, at least got that thing out of here. Don't think it makes sense to attack. It would damage Leviathan, which would be good for Glinthorn. Um, it's it's just really bad blocking wise. I feel like I like if they go straight to combat, I need to be able to block with a I want to block with a seven health Swain because with me taking three here, I'm worried about uh, the Leviathan damage killing me. Spray fins. Oh, come on. This is not the end. Dang. Twisted Fate dominated that game. Card's pretty good, but stealing stealing Leviathan because a deck like that can struggle with finishing games out. So obviously stealing that Leviathan, the best card they could steal. Katarina Zed, get rid of Transfusion. I like this stuff, I guess I should probably get rid of Ravenous Flock also actually. Yeah, our deck our deck's pretty sweet. Uh, haven't. 
Haven't picked up that first win yet, but I'm liking what we got here. Playing a control deck like this, you do need you need your cards to line up. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. You do need you know you do need your cards to kind of line up against what your opponent has. Like last game, my opponent played turn one pool shark and turn two pool shark, and both of them got cards that they got to play. You know, like they didn't. Uh, um, yeah, they didn't bother them one bit having those those turn one turn one and turn two pool sharks. Like they just got to keep on playing stuff. And yeah, they got to level up their twisted fate super fast and just draw too many extra cards. Bye, Harvey. It's done. Good, no transfusion. I mean, there were... <clears throat> By doing it there, if they did have a transfusion, then their their thing would still be damaged, and I'd still be able to Ravenous Flock before um, damage happened to me. If I waited till combat, I would not have been able to Ravenous Flock. So I can't really let my Swain die. So in that respect, I kind of want to wait till I have transfusion available with Swain. Um, but... Swain is pretty awesome. No, I don't I don't think we need to just slam Swain. Without a sound. I am a true master. It's a surprising block, they gotta have something, right? Barrier. Now I wish I would have played the Swain last turn because that could match up against Zed. No going back. Um, three, two, one. True Shot Barrage. Taking down champions. All day. <laughs> that is some True Shot Barrage value right there. And level up Swain. All right. <clears throat> so we will have to Ravenous block that, but they do get to attack first. So I'll be taking three. But we're not going to let it level up. Take three. It's okay. If only we had one more mana and we could uh, have Swain plus like they play a blocker, then we get to sentry the blocker. That would be that would be nice. But we're just gonna play this right now. It's fearsome. So they want to block it. They got to play something that can. That is not something that can. Okay, bounce. That's alright. We can replay.
So their plan is Will of Ionia again or, or stun. You know, their their plan is like stun or recall during combat. Want to have another threat out here? Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Mm. So I could save Death's Hand. My turn. Basically, so basically, you know, Katarina and Zed are two scary cards, and so I'm kind of saving Death's Hand for Katarina or Zed. If they would have played something else as like a blocker, then I could I could have Death's Hand this, dealt one to them, and then it would have. Um, Well, looks like they're just going to be able to do that. Um, I don't know. So all Death's Hand doing, is doing is just killing this thing uh, again, but I can I can still wait on that. Don't have to kill that thing immediately. Good draw. Still feeling good about this game. I think we're gonna get this with that help of that big time true shot barrage. No, Death, Death's Hand wouldn't stun. This um, stuns the strongest back row enemy. So while that thing's in combat, it doesn't stun. It only it only stuns things that are not in combat. So they're trying to figure out what to do with their last two cards. Talking before, yeah, I could have killed it before combat, sure. But I just think that there was better use for that death sand. Like they didn't have a good block. Like I didn't, I didn't care if that, I didn't care if this thing traded with one of the other things. It just, yeah, that would have been a more aggressive line. And just, I think that was an unne unnecessary line. Hmm. Face melter. Look what you did. I was being patient. Like this is like our my one removal Look spell. Like you know, if they just like you know play another Zed or Katarina or something, and then I didn't have an answer for it anymore, I would have been sad. So if I do this, they go Will of Ionia on my Swain. This thing's a 3-3. Three, three. Now that blocks that. They take 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We would put them down to 1, and we'd have the Death's Hand in hand. So even like a Will of Ionia 
kind of have to have like Will of I whoops I'm sorry I'm sorry about that they kind of have to have like Will of Ionia plus okay they don't plus like a barrier lifesteal card One, two. We have done what is needed. All right, coming back. Let's, you know, not play against Anivia all the time. <laughs> you know, we don't. <laughs> don't wanna you know, get. Let's get rid of the Anivia deck. Don't wanna play against that anymore. Vladimir Brom. Vladimir Brom. No, I don't no, I don't think Anivia decks are very good, but they were really good against against our strategy of using a bunch of burn spells to kill things. Anivia plus Rekindler is amazing against this specific strategy. But no, I don't think like, overall it is too good. So we got rid of the Demolitionist. Nothing, you know, like without Crimson Disciple, Demolitionist isn't very good. And hmm. And you know, then I'd only have like one thing, so the transfusion wouldn't necessarily be that good either. Kinda just in a standoff. Hey Nightstorm. I need to do this one we want to do before damage happens because I don't want them to take damage then we mystic shot then they cast take heart I don't want that to happen so with with Braum and take heart decks we want to do the damage first Elixir of Iron, just one mana. Okay, Brahm's out of here. Storm! How you been, Storm? Come, Clara, we have much to teach you. I can't wait. Try my hand, Noxus Rise. This Kempunk Shredder not looking so good. Now there's the static shock. It's these things that want to take one damage. Yeah, ups and downs, such as life, that is true. That is true. Hopefully more ups than downs. And definitely up you being in here. That's for sure. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, not a game for Shredder. Not really for Static Shock either. 
playing against the anti Kempunk Shredder deck. So they've had three out of six survive damage. We do we do know that they have one of their five cards is a crimson unit, right? Because the curator took damage, so we know that's one of their five cards. Um, it's nine out of twelve for Swain. <clears throat> don't love it an attack. I don't Who's gonna get in my way. Don't necessarily like hate an attack, but I don't love an attack either. Come, Clara, we have much to teach you. I can't wait. Like Kind of have nothing to do. That that could have been the Crimson unit. Oh, yep, there it says it. Crimson Curator created this card. Ouch. And now, like, if they if they were sitting on that take heart, like I was thinking earlier. They have a whole lot of damage things. So basically doing this, because this would kill the, the Curator and put all these things at one health, which if they want to attack with Vladimir, then they don't, you know, they die kind of thing. I don't know. Leveling up Swainers. So I'm down to 10. If they attack out, that'd be like four. That'd be four damage from the Vladimir trigger. Five damage from Vladimir Trigger. We'll just let. Let's just see what happens. I do go down to five, but everything of theirs dies. I guess I should just throw these blockers into random things, shouldn't I? Because of like transfusion. Okay. Okay. So that thing will. Uh, we will kill this too. Let's use Death's Hand. So we'll go to 15. They're tight, man. I have 11 right now with this attack. Unfortunately, you cannot Static Shock your own a Crimson Disciple. You have to target an enemy. Yeah, if they would have take heart of the Crimson Disciple, I would have been in trouble. Um, I kind of realized that after I did the blocks, I was like, oh man, I should have just blocked like some of these these other things also. But then I didn't, and then they take hearted the the Vladimir, which was the best thing. That was definitely the best thing for me to happen. Yeah. 
Yeah, I guess it's true. We'd have the gotcha. We would have taken an extra... We would have taken an extra two. So we would have been... Yeah, like we would have taken an extra two from the Crimson Disciple surviving the gotcha. So yeah, I guess it wasn't going to be lethal. Okay, let's see. At least... Uh, close to Elise. Um, I'm going to keep this hand. This hand looks pretty good. Whoa, Saucy Mailman! What's up? Everybody say hi to the sauciest of mailmen. Welcome. We're playing some we're playing some fun decks today. We got some new ones. These were all viewer submitted decks today. Um, played Ash Harrowing and it actually felt really good. We went 4-1. We the game that we lost was a really long super close game. Uh, could have definitely been a win. Almost a 5-0. And now we're even up with a Swain control deck. We have just Swain for our only champion in here. Um, I'm going to pass. I don't want to attack. They block with Sentry. It dies. This thing's now at 3-3. Yeah, Swain's our only champion. We're just kind of playing a bunch of, uh, a bunch of cool cards. Callista doesn't die to Culling Strike. Callista, Callista's been a huge problem with this deck that we're playing against. Raid. I mean, I could make decent blocks, but then Callista levels up. Hmm. I don't make blocks, I'm dead. Because they're killing me. That was weird, Calista didn't have like the animation of like the one spear for a little bit there. Dang. Nothing. Nothing to kill Callista right now. Ugh. Our deck is filled with removal spells. This is kind of unfortunate. We have nothing for that Callista. There you are. Death to all All right, well, Cliss is leveled up anyway. Let the show begin. Let's just go with the fa face melter. to us and rekindle the new all right so i'm gonna be trying to culling strike the caretaker so it's dead so it can't protect the callista so now this block kills callista okay gotten those things out here eight out of twelve for swain Just go ahead and do this. Why do they have they who endure also? Come on. That's not fair. They've already had like a perfect curve the first five turns. Why do they have to have the best top end card too? Okay. 
Hi. So that's getting stunned. Great job, Sentry. We're gonna have Culling Strike. Cooling strike for that thing. Now, next turn we can have the Kempunk Shredder plus Noxian Guillotine combo. To take out the 1010. How are y'all doing tonight? Last turn. Do I potentially pass turn also? And then I can double guillotine both of those things? Have them waste all this mana? Like if I cast guillotine here, maybe like maybe they just have atrocity. mana, eh? close to being dead. It's not great. They really had it all that game. They had it all. So there we go. Swain control. Something a little different. Um, you know, very respectable. Sticking pretty close to 500 there. You know, got that 2 and 3. Um... Definitely respectable. True Shot Barrage looked pretty awesome at times. And honestly, Kempunk Shredder was a card that looked really good. You know, like against that one time against the Crimsons, it wasn't amazing. But honestly, it worked out because like the Kempunk Shredder plus the Vladimir killed all of their things. Um, but this card just actually looked really good against a lot of different a lot of different stuff that we were playing against. Um, yeah, pretty cool little control deck here. I, I liked it. Um, I'm not sure anything that I would necessarily change. Um, you know, the Aura Glenhorn, we didn't really get to do anything with this. Honestly, this like this, if this card was Vi, that's probably a lot better, to be honest. Um, but I, I know like the the person that, that built this really wanted just wanted this combo. Um, and really wanted to, to try the, the Glen Horn with that combo. But with how much removal we have and everything, I don't think that, like, stunning the damage enemies, maybe, maybe we don't really need that. Um, you know, but if that was, like, Vi that we could um, play and, and challenge stuff, 
and you know just do all the awesome stuff that Vi does because that card's amazing. And that would probably be probably be better overall. Um, but it's not like I mean Glidhorn can have its it can have its uh, times like where it it can do something crazy good for us. Um, as far as like you know we have like a bunch of removal spells in here they all felt pretty decent there wasn't really any that i disliked too much I wonder like ravenous flock is, is kind of good at one mana i want to mind another ravenous flock something like like thermogenic beam seems like thermogenic beam also that seems like something that could be r real good in a deck like this um maybe maybe playing those instead of like transfusions maybe maybe you just don't even really need transfusion and um, I didn't think about Thermogenic Beam earlier, but this could be a card that, you know, can also, can do a ton of damage. You know, like, you can just spend, you can put a bunch of mana into Thermogenic Beam, kill something big, level up Swain by itself. Um, and yeah, that's true. You do have, Guillotine is kind of like the, the better Ravenous Flock. Um, just costs a lot more mana. Um, and yeah, you know, like, you can keep the Shredder or Glenhorn combo. Absolutely. I'm not saying you got to take it out like or anything like that. Um, but maybe Beam instead of Transfusion. But uh, pretty cool little deck here. Something a little different. And, you know, definitely held its own over in Master's Rank, which is, uh, which is great. All right, so that's it here for Swain Control. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments as well. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this uh, different deck here and we got a couple other different decks. Next one, um, Katarina Lux. But anyway, thank you so much for watching some Swain Control and I'll see you for the next video.